Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Frank Cusimano. I have a PhD in nutrition and metabolic biology. And today we're gonna to be discussing eight healthy quarantine habits that you can do at home to help optimize your immune system so that in case you do get the infection, your body can fight it off and your immune system is ready to handle it. All right, we're gonna tackle all eight of these in under three minutes. We're gonna discuss each eight of them and also go into some of the science about why it helps your immune system following these habits. All right, three minutes on the clock. Number one, sleep. Recent discoveries demonstrate a critical role for the circadian rhythm and sleep in your immune system homeostasis. Both the innate and adaptive immune responses are affected by your sleep patterns. This includes leukocyte mobilization, trafficking and chemotaxis, and cytokine release and T-cell differentiation. They are mediated in a time of day dependent manner, meaning make sure to follow a sleep schedule and get those recommended seven to eight hours of sleep. Number two, hydration. Did you know that your immune system moves around your body through your lymphatic system, which is a series of channels, much like arteries or veins? Well, past research has shown that how well immune cells through the lymphatic system in your body is directly related to how hydrated you are. So make sure you guys get those recommended eight glasses of water a day. Number three, stress. Did you know that stress promotes inflammation along with that fight and flight response? A recent meta-analysis combining randomized trials of meditation techniques found that meditation reduced blood cortisol, C-reactive protein, TNF-alpha, and IL-6 compared to active controls. Now, obviously this is a stressful time for a lot of us. So incorporating techniques like journaling or meditation that don't cost anything are a great way to try to buffer some of that stress and reduce our day-to-day -day stress levels. All right, number four, loving relationships. Obviously hard if you are quarantining alone or self-isolating alone, but one of the neuropeptides that is released during all interpersonal relationships is actually oxytocin. And many don't know this, but oxytocin has been shown to inhibit inflammation and suppress stress-associated immune disorders. All right, number five, and my favorite one, nutrition and diet. Now discussing diet is obviously hard, especially as many of us are living under financial stress. An individual's overall nutritional status, state of nourishment, and pattern of food intake impacts the functioning of the immune system. Studies repeatedly show that a Mediterranean or a whole food plant-centric diet is the best for immune health and longevity. Now we are not talking 100% here, but incorporating more of those plant-centric foods into your diet can really go a long way. All right, number six, exercise. Moderate exercise has been shown to shorten infectious episodes and downregulate excessive inflammation during respiratory infections. 150 minutes of exercise is recommended, and that is mixing low and high intensity or aerobic and anaerobic exercise to get maximal benefit. All right, number seven, vices. Now we all have our vices. Some help us de-stress, but some vices like smoking and excessive alcohol intake can actually impair our immune system's ability to fight off infections. With the current stress of the pandemic, it won't be easy for anyone struggling with addiction or any of these vices, but working to cut back now may help you in the event that you do get sick. Number eight, your microbiome. Did you know that up to 70 to 90% of your immune system actually resides in your gastrointestinal tract? Our intestinal microbiota plays an important role in modulating and training our immune system from a young age. For optimal gut health and immune health, make sure to eat a high fiber diet with a high diversity of plants and high fiber foods. All right, that concludes our eight healthy quarantine habits. How did we do on timing? Okay, a little over, but we got in a lot of really good information and a lot of science into it as well. Obviously, I recommended these eight because these eight have been shown by science to help your immune system and their habits that we can incorporate on a daily basis into our life. But we all have a starting position. For some people, maybe you're already struggling to maybe just hit one or two of these healthy habits. And for other people, maybe you're already at five or six of them. What you wanna do is just try to improve just a little bit. You don't need to stress out about it. It's not that you need to hit all eight of these healthy habits to optimize your immune system. You just need to do a little better than yesterday or last week or last month. So don't stress out about it and trying to hit all eight. Just try to do a little bit better. If you're at one and two, 
try to hit maybe three or four of the habits. If you already feel like you're pretty good at five or six of them, maybe try to hit seven. For me, I'm personally trying to hit all eight, but it has been a 10 year evolution. You know, five years ago, if you gave me this whole list and told me to try to incorporate it, all of it into my life, I would have struggled and I would have broken down after just trying to do a few of them. But it's been an evolution to get there. And that's what everyone needs to remember is we all have a starting point and we just want to get a little bit better. So for me right now, I'm really working on sleep. I love making these YouTube videos, but I have to edit them and edit them typically takes time away from my sleep and they end up staying up later than I expected. So one of the downsides of that is that I am not following the regular sleep routine that I recommend. So that's the one that I'm working on. I want you guys to leave a comment below of which one you're going to be working on maybe this next week, this next month, maybe today, maybe tonight. Obviously, I know a lot of these eight have socioeconomic components. And so it's important that remember that we're just trying to do our best and you need to live up to your own expectations and no one else's. You don't need to live up to my standards or any or your family standards. Live up to your own standards of what you can do. Times are tough for a lot of us financially. And so you don't need to go out and buy all organic, all you know, fresh fruits and vegetables. Just do a little bit better than yesterday. All right, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys got a lot out of this. I will be posting more videos like this. Make sure to leave a comment, A, of which one you're gonna be working on of these eight tips, and then also any future videos that you wanna see. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you get notifications for the next video. And also make sure to give us that thumbs up if you really enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys for joining and I will see you guys in the next video.